According to latest media reports, the Ted BF fifth generation minus fighter jet will feature serpentine shaped ducts, along with diverterless supersonic inlet, a feature that will be first seen on the AMCA fifth generation fighter jet. The serpentine shaped ducts do not provide a direct line of sight to the compressor blades, thus hiding the engine from incoming radar waves, which helps in lowering the frontal radar cross section and infrared signature of the aircraft. The TED BF will also feature serrated patterns for the construction of the trailing edges of the wings and canards, for further reduction in frontal radar cross section, and will use the same material developed for the AMCA program. Barrett Dynamics Limited has carried out a test of its latest third generation man portable anti tank guided missile called Amog 3, and the test was successful and met all mission objectives. The Amog 3 has been designed and developed by the in house by Research and Development Division of Barrett Dynamics Limited, and it has a range of 2.5 km and features dual mode imaging infrared seeker along with a tandem warhead that can penetrate more than 650 mm explosive reactive armor. Chennai-based Fermi Plane Company will be soon demonstrating a hybrid unmanned aerial vehicle to the Indian Army, that has an operational range of 200 km, and a speed of 160 km per hour. It has eight sets of propellers to facilitate the vertical landing, while four sets of forward propellers will enable it to cruise through the air. The Indian Army is looking to develop an Army-specific variant with the company, equipped with two thermal cameras, and the hybrid unmanned aerial vehicle has also been offered to the Indian Navy for surveillance activities. As the US firm General Electric is looking to establish a local subsidiary in India with Indian private sector companies, to jointly manufacture F-414 engines for the Indian and export markets, as well as to serve as a hub for the global supply chain for spares of this engine, latest reports indicate that General Electric is considering to build the new plant near the existing General Electric Brilliant Advanced Manufacturing Plant in Pune. It is unclear whether General Electric will have a 100% Indian-owned subsidiary, or a 51% owned joint venture to manufacture these engines in the country. Chinese media has reported, that Argentina is close to sign a deal with China for the purchase of JF-17 fighter jets, that will also see the setting up of a production plant for local assembly of the aircraft in the country, and Argentina will also have export rights of the JF-17. Reacting to this news, US Congresswoman Maria Salazar has said, that a Chinese fighter factory in Argentina is the worst decision, and she described it as playing with the devil. The US administration has been putting pressure on Argentina, to either acquire second-hand F-16 from Denmark, or go for Indian Tejas fighter jet. On the sidelines of the second edition of Africa India field training exercise, India has demonstrated a number of defense platforms to the militaries of African countries, that includes the Mohindra Light Specialist Vehicle, Temis Unmanned Ground Vehicle by Estonian firm Ilrem Robotics, that will be locally manufactured by Kalyani Strategic Systems Limited in India, and the Varuna Human Carrying Drone developed by Indian private sector firm Saga Defence. Thank <laughs> you.